Norton Cuffey with the throw in to Patino, who's gradually growing into this game in central midfield. He's picked out another good ball to Hutchinson. Another crunching challenge, this time from Patino. It's a really good position. He's strong, holds the ball up, wins a free kick, and it just completely alleviates all of that pressure that's built up. Really intelligent play once more. And take it quickly. Another incident there of uh, shirt pulling. This time it's Scott Banks moving back. Patino. Arsenal go short again. Here's Aziz. The clip one in behind for Hutchinson. Patino. Managed by Banks on that far side. Patino's Here's Banks. Well read again by the Arsenal defence. Pino just always seems to have so much space and so much time on the ball. And aiming one into the channels. Too much going on ahead of him. As he is able to steal it back. As he's again. Patino back for Arsenal tonight. He can play anywhere across the line, really. We've seen him occupy left back, right back. But here's Hutchinson, he's very much on the front foot who are 3-1 down, away from home, are going to have to play the remaining... ...things that you learn to be clever about. You learn to work on that technique of bringing down a player so it's not too obvious. But as you mentioned there, it's right. He can't have any complaints. You can't blame the referee for making that decision and really is just a perplexing one. There he is again. Oh boy, oh boy, have they taken it. You know, we mentioned a few times, didn't we, Nick, about how brilliant challenge. Regular, actually, for three or four players in front of the ball. So they actually had some options there, which hasn't really been the case too often since they went down to 10. So, again, it's just about managing the game and managing the situation. It's quite easy to manage the game when you've got someone who's as confident in possession as Charlie Patino. You saw him there, sprinting down the right-hand side, expert close control go down to nine it's tough enough with with ten it was actually a, a really hefty chip. football for the Eagles and he's got just yeah, Kevin Betsy screaming no foul near side as Arsenal do win the ball back fairly not even an hour into his home debut for the Arsenal 20 under 23s it's a speculative effort from Charlie Patino we've seen him absolutely rifled them in on that sort of distance before there's a, a goal in the league uh, in the uh, FA Youth Cup which is Rekic into Patino seeing so much more of the ball now you can see how good he is under pressure in these close quarters happy to leave two men the impressive vision but I think it's really important for these players at this level to become accustomed to playing he played in central midfield um, just for the remaining 15 minutes or so of, of extra time because on Louis, because you know, if there ever is an opportunity for him in the first team, it means that he... turn it down, are you? You're not going to say, Oh, I'm a centre back, don't put me there. You have to adapt, and as you said, it's great that they're able to be exposed to that so early on. <laughs> Towards the penalty area, it's a half volley from Patino, only partially Arsenal with that numerical advantage. Will hold on to the ball and still have plenty of time and they've got it as well. Acres of space on that fast waiting for movement around him. That comes in the form of Patino. Arsenal playing really confidently now, just stroking the ball around the really crucial that Arsenal do manage to get these three points. They open their season up. Earlier this week with a, a two-all draw against Chelsea, who were the runners-up last season, so it to be a really tough test. Patino. Yeah, just looking for Rob Street, but wasn't much at all that he could do with that. Palace, of course. 
does really take it out of you, especially early on in the season as well. You know, as well, so crucial because, as you said, the, I think the first shot did take a deflection, which made it difficult for Gradchik. A change made in the aftermath there. End of play. He was able to uh, pat it down. Good under pressure from Patino yet again. And Zadeo on Louis to Charlie Patino. And nothing on behind him. Turns away so easily. He's getting caught in the second challenge, but he's still got the ball. He's still able to pick his pass to his left hand side. Smashes it as far downfield as he can. As Nick says, Palace are getting their big men forward, but it's hooked clear by Patino. 